Hello, Cypress community, and welcome back to Now World Tanks Gone Severe. So, in this video, um, I'm going to be playing the T28 prototype, the Tier 8 American Turreted Tank Destroyer. Now, I quit playing this tank for a very long time because I hated the tank. I. because of how the armor kind of got power crept. Used to, the T28 prototype used to be this frontal armor beast it could pretty much stay out in the open and not get shot and not get really penetrated it was really hard to penetrate you had to shoot the weak points of the t28 prototype which was its cheat armor and maybe its cupola but nowadays that doesn't that's not really the case but the t28 prototype can still do really good and also talking about the armor um even so the armor of the T28 prototype is 203 on its upper plate, which it sounds really good, and 240 on that cheek armor I was talking about on its gun, um, right beside its gun. But even the T28 prototype's own gun can absolutely annihilate its armor with its 248 standard millimeters of penetration with two and 297 millimeters of penetration almost 300 millimeters of penetration you load premium and the t28 prototype armor kind of doesn't exist anymore but it doesn't mean the armor doesn't exist anymore just not in the frontal aspect of like how the tank used to play now i've played the t28 prototype even more at first this is how I play it. At first, at the beginning of the match, you kind of want to sit back. You want to save those hit points. Sit back. It doesn't really matter if you... It matters if you get spotted. You don't want to get really get spotted. But if you do, you have a little bit of armor to help you protect it. Yes, you are a frontally armored strong TD. But, like I said before, 203 just not as effective as it was. It's more like mid-range and for like end of fight battles the t28 prototype has kind of fallen from the frontal tank destroyer that used to be to like a more passive at the beginning of the match to like a more aggressive td at the end of the match where it can finally use its armor and try to play at a distance the entire match like i'm going to be doing right here and this match and it's going to help me out so good and the t28 prototype also has a really really good gun i have always remembered the t28 prototype having a really good gun like this 120 millimeters 120 millimeter caliber gun i already i already said it has really good penetration this is tier 10 level heavy tank penetration 248 standard 297 on its premium right got that um, it does have 60 millimeters of high explosive pen, um, 400 damage per shot on standard and premium, which gives and also has a rate of fire of 5.94, which is about a reload of 10 seconds, which gives this tank a DPM of 2,376. Um, it does also have 10 degrees of gun depression, 0.33, uh, 0.38 accuracy, and time is 2.1 seconds. But yeah. And I've already done 2,700 damage in this match. Also, if you end up liking this video, consider subscribing because it's free and it helps out the channel a ton. So the mobility of this tank is also 28 forward, 11, uh, 10 reverse, with a power to weight ratio of 11.76. Speed range is 380. Shame bad for a frontal, like good armor tank. So yeah, I'm being more passive. As you can see, I'm being passive. I've gotten in a position where I'm defending. I'm not being aggressive like I used to be able to do in the T28, the prototype. Right now, I'm being passive. I'm letting the enemy team cross over to the over the railroads into the open, out in the open, and they're going to get spotted and they're going to get shot to pieces. But this is a quite a decently long match. Like I said earlier, at the very beginning of the match, you kind of just want to stay at a distance. If you get spotted, it's not the end of the world because at the at longer distance, 
shells start losing penetration unless they're firing heat rounds. But, so that should help your armor. As long as they're not firing heat rounds, they're firing heat rounds, well, good luck. It doesn't matter at what distance, still gonna be the same amount of penetration. But, stay concealed as much as you possibly can at the beginning of the match. As the match uh, progresses, you can be a little bit more um, aggressive as the match progresses. So, yeah. So you can start sacrificing those hit points. Start trying to use that little bit of armor. When this tank gets top tier, tier 6s and tier 7s kind of struggle against it. And also, the armor is there to try to let you like kind of push up i did bounce a couple of shots 890 damage block but one of those shells actually did penetrate my armor so yeah also i didn't talk about the side armor don't ever get shot in the side of this tank well it has a 50.80 mil 50.8 millimeters of armor which doesn't sound like a lot but that is enough armor to not get over bashed by 151 millimeters of armor or lower of uh, 151 millimeter caliber guns or lower or maybe 152 i think it's 152 for that for this tank so which is really nice and for not getting overmatched by those tanks but in the back of the armor it's also 50.8 also, I bounced 1,780 damage so far, and I'm down to half hit points. As you can see, the match has progressed, and I'm starting to use my armor advantage. And I just got penetrated again. That's a same tier heavy tank, and I'm down to a one shot. I've used all all my armor and hit points. As you can see, the armor doesn't really hold up as much as it used to, and it's just sad. But the gun and if you play this correctly play this tank correctly it just works really really well and i can definitely see love in this tank and i think this match actually gave me a mark of excellence on my t28 prototype and we're definitely going to do much more damage in this game i guess there's three tanks left but i think we fought i think we get to do all the remaining damage that is up on the board we've done 2875 damage four kills and stuff like that but there's three tanks left a heavy tank a medium tank and tank destroyer there's a t69 and now we get to use the rate of fire of the t28 prototypes gun now the t69 actually has low penetration so we should be pretty good against the t69 and the t69 is kind of fluffing on the shots and since you also have 10 degrees of gun depression, I can also use some of my gun depression to make my armor a little bit stronger. And also, I was counting the shots here and making sure he fired all the shots before I came out. And I noticed I didn't want to come out in the open because I might got shot and open the field. And I shoot down that building to shoot down some of the cover of the T-69. Put a shot into the T-69 also notice my 7.9 second like reload at 7.9 no it's 8.3 seconds so we take out a full health t69 there's a heavy tank it's a tiger 131 and we're about to shut him down goodbye tiger 131 and there's a tank destroyer left we have fired all of our standard rounds in this game and now we're down to our premium and high explosive rounds in this game so yeah like i said T28 prototype definitely plays differently, but it is still fun to play. You can still use that armor like you used to at the very end of the match. It's just not going to work as much as it used to. It's just not going to. Because of all the penetration buffs and everything, and the armor of the T28 prototype kind of getting left behind. But using it correctly, using that armor correctly plus using your hit points correctly can get you to do pretty good in the t28 prototype i do manage to do 4468 damage in this tank and seven kills 
So that's it for this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, remember to subscribe to Facebook because we're watching that. And peace out. See ya.